Hi, I'm Ryan Wright. And I'm John Connor. Welcome to Reasons to See. Where we give you reasons to see. And not to see. The Last Stand! So let's hang out. Ryan's Consensus. There are a lot of reasons to see The Last Stand. There are a lot of reasons to see The Last Stand. Really? Like, you, you liked it? I'm just fucking with you, dude. Oh. John Connor's consensus. I think there are a lot of reasons to see The Last Stand. There are a lot of reasons to see The Last Stand. Reason to see number one, Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger. They fucked with the wrong guy. Arnold did a good job. Like, when, you know, like, when Arnold gets hurt in this movie, you you feel the hurt. He sells you on the character. It surprised me. It, it, it sort of freaked me out. I was buying the character. You know, it's, it's Arnold doing his Arnold thing. But at the same time, I don't feel like this was written for Arnold. It was just like, oh, find something for Arnold to be in. I felt like they had a story and a character, and then they got Arnold to be in it. I just watching this, I felt like they wrote the character, and he played the character. He's great at parodying himself. Reason to see number two, the action. I like the whole big city crime versus small town crime. You know, it's, it's kind of like two movies rolled into one. This one could have been a great 3D movie. Like with Arnold walking with a shotgun. Right. Apparently, apparently I got a, <laughs> one that's not fucking hold working. It, I, hold it I got really a super far, soaker shotgun. Just that like last 30 minutes was so fucking cool. You know, sometimes it's badass, sometimes it's intriguing, sometimes it's funny, you know, sometimes it's over the top. Like, it's got a whole blend of stuff, and it's it's awesome. Reason to see number three, the directing. Oh, yeah, no, I, I thought they nailed this one with flying colors, man. I mean, Kim Ji-Woon's direction is great, and it, you know, it's, it's over the top, but it follows the rules of its universe really well, yeah. so it doesn't seem too over the top or pushed in any one direction. It's like everything is justified. It's just a really good time. Even when it's taking its time seriously. Even the cheesy bad scenes were fun. I honestly thought there'd be more cheesiness in this film, but it doesn't take away from the fun of the movie. No, and nothing, and even when it is cheesy, it's not bad cheesy. It's just enough seriousness to make you care about the characters. I didn't feel like it was just, let's put some explosions and stuff and people will like it and it doesn't matter, and, you know, let's just have people so they can die. You know, th this is the sort of thing we've been missing for a while with action movies. The Expendables wishes it could be this film. <laughs> You know, it's not too much of anything, it's just enough to make it thrilling and exciting, and then it's also fun, but not too much fun where you forget about the characters. Like, it does slow down to take time for characters, and it sets up its world, and it does a good job with that. I feel like people who are, like, not liking this movie, like, based off a lot of the opinions I'm hearing, it sounds like they went into this movie prepared not to like it. This type of movie gets a write-off anyway. Reason to see number four! Cinematography. Cinematography is really badass, man. The film did look good. Just crazy angles and moving shots. Reason to see number five. It's fun and funny. You know, I had a great time. I dug the shit out of it. It has its cheese and stuff. And as far as this type of movie goes, they got it right. I thought, you know, it's, it's simple, but it's not stupid. When I first heard that it was close to two hours, I was a little turned off by that. After watching this, I was so invested in the material, I wasn't like pulled in like a great drama. I was so wrapped by it already that by the time it was over, I felt like I just watched an 80 minute movie. Yeah, I found myself laughing a lot during this movie as well. Even the violence sometimes makes you laugh. Reason to see number six, the writing. You know, everybody was a character. People weren't just talking about the plot. You know, they took some time to make it fun and amusing. It's like, I get the sense that these characters existed even without this story. Yeah, man, I was along with the journey the whole time. Yeah, the plot moves along very well, and it seems like somebody actually paid attention when they were writing this movie. Plain and simple, it's just smart. It's a smart action film. At the very least, there's a story, and it's about the characters. Everything has a personality. Movies like this need some substance, and this movie gives you that, unlike Gangster Squad. Reason to see number seven, the supporting cast. You could just ride this movie off of Arnold and, you know, half-ass it, but it seemed like everybody was involved and really cared. It's Arnold with an ensemble backing him up. You know, anytime someone gets shot, you, you feel that. At first when I saw uh, Forrest Whitaker in this movie, I was like, 
what the hell is this Academy Award winning actor doing in this kind of a movie? But he seemed to be very aware of the type of film he was in and he actually did a very good job. He was solid. You know who else I liked? I liked the two villains. I thought both villains were fun to watch. Especially the one who was uh, fighting against Arnold in the town in the first. Oh, Peter Stormare? He's always popping up as slimy bad guys. Yeah, no, he's he's great. He's a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Reasons not to see. Uh, there's some wooden acting here and there, but I mean, it's not enough to actually like. You'll pretty much forget about that the, the second. Yeah. Anything else if starts. Heard our reasons to see. Uh, you know that like those things are necessary for a movie like this. Any I'm not going to say it's a great movie. <laughs> it's, a, yeah. it's a good, really good action movie. Yeah, it's, it's for what it is, it does what it does really well, and it does set itself apart from generic action fare. So if you're going to be nitpicky about it, then yeah, you're going to find a lot of reasons not to see this. Subscribe, please. Yeah, click right here to subscribe. Subscribe. And then click Ryan's bicep if you want to see more videos. <laughs> I'm really proud of that bicep. Oh, yeah. It's got a tricep, too.